Hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Gabriela and today is Tutorial Thursday. What we're gonna do today is bun up the dance. This video is coming out tomorrow in our main Sasao Crew channel. I hope you guys subscribe to that one and this one uh, because we have many more things coming. So subscribe to both and let's get started. All right guys, so this uh, choreography, it seems like it has a bunch of steps, but really it's just simple steps and simple moves, isolations that you already know how to do. So the way it starts is simply by shifting your weight side to side and for three times you're gonna go one, two, one, one da, da, body roll two, ba, ba, body roll three, we hold, ba, we hold, ba. So that what you're doing is one and two. So you take your time for that body roll. You gotta feel it here. One and two. And you pop that hip and you bring that knee up and you point that foot down. Don't forget, here we go. One, two, body roll. One, two, body roll. Da, da, ba, ba, ba. Give me the light, give me the light. Don't forget to enjoy it, yes? And then guys, it comes one of my favorite parts, which is sort of like an isolation of your hips. You know, I love those. And what you do is you pick up your entire leg from your hip using those obliques. Six counts. One, two, three, four. Actually four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Remember to keep that back straight. You start tilting your upper body to the left, arch it towards the right as you play with that right leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Other side. One, two, three, four. Lean forward. What comes next is an isolation of your hip. Da, 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 da. Just your hip. If you're using your knee still, that's okay. But don't forget, the goal is to just isolate the hip to go down, 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 down. Just your hip as opposed to the whole thing, okay? Because it's just good to work on our isolations. It's a challenge. Then the next move that we do is you bounce. Make sure those legs are nice, spreadly apart, wider than your hips, so you have room to bounce to go one, two, three, and, right? So as you go down, you bring your upper body down, right? You're gonna bring your hip back like this. One, two, three, and so you use that momentum to go up and down to engage your core and bring your hip back up back up back up as you cross and open your arms and then what you're going to do after that pick up your heels see use your hips and go one two three and this is preparing you for the only jumping part that we have in the song Basically what you do is after uh, you've done the bouncing, this, it goes. And right leg, you're gonna shift your shoulders, right? So if it's right leg, it's left shoulder, don't forget. And then you go a little bit back. And one, two, three, right? And then you're gonna go sort of like a modified jumping jack, keeping your legs close together and open, but it's diagonal. It's not side to side. Arms up. One, two, down. Right, so you go one and two. Without jumping, I'm just showing you the arms, and you switch to the other side, three and four. So make sure you keep that core super tight. One more time, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and bun up the dance, yes? So that little first part that we do, in order to always make it to bun up the dance, the first part, you cut it a little short. Instead of doing a total of two here, you only do one right before bun up the dance in order to make it to bun up the dance. Make sense? So after that, maybe you'll recognize that uh, the more you see the video, you realize it, because later on, it's always two. It's one, two, three four, five, six, and bun up the dance. So for that first part, it's not six, it's just five. So you go, cool, yes? Let's keep going. Then comes one of my favorite parts as well, isolations. You're gonna shift your weight to the left, 
make that nice pretty leg and then what you're gonna do is your arms are gonna go and fly kind of like caress the same direction only one of them is to the set level of your shoulder and the other one is above your head you go one bring that chest forward two three four make sure you extend your arms and that right arm is going to actually be behind your head so that makes you open your chest yes so one two three four you stay here and and right left right left as you lower your upper body bending those knees make sure you take your ribcage with you whenever you go to the right your ribcage goes to the right same thing with the left okay so you work that waistline one more time one two three four five six seven eight now it's left so you're gonna bring the right leg back both arms going to the right and one two three four right so next what we're gonna do is just a simple isolation to transition back to our second verse which is I'm on a little fire give me the light da -da 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 -da. give me the light yes and then the way you finish the song okay is just isolations I use this song a lot for either my right before my cool down and by cool down I don't mean stretching cool down I mean a slower song to bring my heart rate down because since this song has that jumpy part right so I still use another song to actually work on more isolations and then I stretch so I use it towards the end of the class because the last this part of the song you isolate a lot what you do is you step one two three four and you take it back one two three four you're gonna use it's just this and you're gonna see arms um, go and I think in the video I do walk a little forward by going one two three four and take it back one two three four and what I'm doing really is pivoting on the ball of my feet so I can shift the direction of where I'm going right so one two three four and the second to last move just bend the knees use your obliques and let those hips dance side to side keeping those arms relaxed and the last move that we do finally when the song is ending it switches to one and drop two and drop ba ba down da ka down as soon as you come up your hip emphasizes up and drop da ka down da ka down ba 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 up down drop up down drop up down drop great workout for those obliques Whew, guys i'm sweaty how do we do guys yes i know it looks like it's a lot of stuff but it's just isolations it's a great way to practice all that work that you did throughout an hour class of jumping and dancing stretch everything out and work on that flexibility that's how i do it that's how i recommend my students to do it okay i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe and share and i will see you next time